makes you feel kind of helpless. Two years ago, Irv Warkington checked on his chickens as rains pounded his Chilliwack Lake Road property. He brought some eggs back into his house. And about two minutes later, I heard a huge crash. And I went out to investigate, and the hillside had come down and completely buried my chicken house. Well, we're looking at where the damage came down. You can see up top there, that's where the slide started, about 100 feet up. The slide didn't take out his house, but days later the property was inspected by a district appointed engineer. He said to get out as quick as possible because impeding for the whole mountain to come down. Workington is one of six property owners in the Chilliwack River Valley whose properties have been deemed unsafe and unlivable following the historic atmospheric river. None have received insurance payouts or disaster relief from the government. I'm stuck of just living out of a tote and uh, yeah, just waiting for the government to do something. BC assessment on my property, $1 for the house, $1 for the acre of land, total value $2. Richard Holmes and Mary Lee Murr's house is off its foundation. Calls for provincial help denied or unanswered. It's like dealing with a black hole. A lot of my emails were not even acknowledged. District leaders have been advocating for provincial buyouts. It's been too long. It's two years almost. These people are taxpayers. They're salt of the earth residents. Um, they need to. They need to have some resolution here. The province says, unlike floods, landslides aren't covered by its disaster relief policy, but it's not ruling out other potential funding. I'm aware of uh, these six individuals. We are in uh, conversations with the, uh, the district, and in addition to that, Minister Ma and I will be having further discussions with our colleagues. Residents call it a vague promise heard time and time again. Well, it's like basically dangling a carrot in front of you all the time. The district says it plans to keep up the fight and legal action could be next. John Hernandez, CBC News, Chilliwack.